these last couple of weeks, I've been in pieces. Hey, do you know what? Am I getting old? For real? Hey, you know when you get old? You start to realise you're getting old. Because your body doesn't want to repair itself. Quick, quick, quick. It's, it, it's like it goes into safe mode, into limp mode. You know, like new, these new cars. When something goes wrong with the engine, they go into limp mode. Yeah, my body's been in limp mode for the last two weeks. So I caught a cold. After a cold, I catch a belly bug. And now from the belly bug, I've got an ear infection. What's going on? The There's beer lights on my dashboard right now. The white blood cells are just not there. This is what happens when you gain age. Your white blood cells become less activated. Did you learn that in science? Yeah. This is like, I've or been did you just make that up? I've been listening in school. Huh? Right. Maybe the, the age thing was just a guess, but it's a sophisticated guess. But yeah, see my white blood cells, they, they, they work very well. If that's the case, then I need to go find a tablet that goes with the multivitamins that's called white blood cells. I'm gonna have to get onto my herbal doctor. Hey, Ocean Moss, I need some remedies. I need some remedies for the white blood cells. Did you say they're low? Hmm? Did you say they're low? Yeah, I think so. I feel like you're being cheeky though. What? My ears just playing up. I feel all unbalanced. I feel all discombobulated. Oh, man, oh man. So, it's quite ironic because it's November. It's Tay's birthday month. But this time last year, this could have been a totally different. This might not even. We might not even have a relationship. We don't remember what happened last year. You, yeah, but what do you mean we have a relationship? No, not me and you, you fool. Me, us and YouTube. Oh, why? Uh, you don't remember the fire? Yeah, but why? Why would you have a relationship with YouTube? Because you might not. Have, it, it could have been. Is he? Is he feeling all right? And let me explain why we might not have had a relationship. Let's get into it. So, just like this year, last year I was thinking, what can I get this boy for his birthday? And he was banging on to me about a scooter, 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 scooter. And he was riding on the back of his bridge in scooters. And yeah, all right, you might say, oh, but how you letting him do that? You can't control what they do every time they go outside the door. But when the wife caught him one time, mm, yeah, it was political. Basically, I was, I was, I was um, on the back of a scooter and the driver converted into the road. And mum was in the car and I saw him, saw her. So I made the driver stop. So you got caught slipping? Yeah, so I so I, so so I had to make it out like I didn't do nothing wrong. So you got caught slipping. Yeah. All right. I succumbed to. Well, I was telling him he can't get a scooter. He can't get a scooter. But anyway, boom! I saw this pretty advertisement on Instagram. Got sucked in. I said, all right, cool. I purchased it. I purchased a scooter for him. This was this time last year. The scooter come in the box and I was like, oh, I need to hide this from Tay. Boom. So I quickly, it was luckily it come on a day, one of my days off. So what I done was I took the scooter to my pal's house, put it in his garage, asked him, please. He was like, he's handy with his handy. I'm not DIY like that. I said, please, Bridget, do me a favor, fix it up for me. He said, cool, no problem. I left the scooter with him and I went home. And this is what happened next. Company, please tell me. Tell me how this happened. Look, look at the cellar tape. Still on. Look, you see? Boxed. Look, look, handlebars. Look, how did this happen? Stress me out. Do you know, as I stand here, yeah, I think to myself, how's the best way of portraying this? Because I need you to understand that this ain't no hoax. <laughs> this is not a joke. I bought this for my boy's birthday. And I bought it to my pals. Luckily, I'm blessed, you know. I bought it to my pals. 
because I asked him to do it up and he left it in his garage and it set on fire in the box. Yeah, that's what happened. Eisen Scooter, did you think that I wasn't going to get at you? You think I weren't going to out you, you dirty scumbags? Did you think I wasn't going to out you? I've given them more than ample opportunity to rectify their wrongs. And they don't want to rectify them. So you hear what I'm outing you. Eyes and Scooter, the holy you. Anyone that sells this scooter again, I'm out in you. If I see you, when I shop around and I see you've got this product in your shop, on your site, this product name, anything to associate with this company, I'm out in you. Because they got no remorse for nothing. They got no remorse for life. And please believe me, I'd have jump on a plane and come find you the next day if this had gone a different way. Eyes and Scooter, I don't even want to hear from you again. Life over money. Life over money. You cannot put people's life at risk like this and think you're going to get away with it. I've been patient. I've done the patient game. Sometimes, you know, in life when you want to win the war, you have to go through battles. And I paid the £100 knowing I was never going to get back this money for the fire investigation report. Yeah, look. <laughs> fire inspector come to confirm that thing card. Nah, that can't run. The fire investigator come. I had to wait nearly a year for this report. And I had to pay £100 for this report as well. And the report findings are this. This is the official report, yeah? 4.1, the conclusions, yeah? Following laboratory examination, the fire involving the scooter appeared to have been initiated by the almost fully charged lithium ion battery pack being shorted out by abrasion of and cons consequent DC arcing. In the handlebar slash riser conductors, the, the abrasion and arcing of these conductors have had been caused by them rubbing against the sharp metal inner lip of the machine's handlebar riser tube. 4.2 The carriage of dangerous goods and use of transportable pressure equipment Amen Amendment EU exit Regulations 22, 2020 pro prohibit the air transport of lithium ion batteries in a state of charge of more than 30% As such, supplying a scooter almost fully charged with a battery pack plugged in but not seen to be in the spirit of best, of best practice and would pose a significant latent fire risk during the transport of these machines to end the user. This makes my blood boil as much as if this happened yesterday. Like, my blood boils. So even 4.2 says, this scooter come overseas, yeah? So they put, this screw on a plane with a battery charged at 50%, which means the fire could have started on the plane. Huh? What's the purpose of this video? The purpose of this video is to out the company, first of all. But one lesson I learned from this, and you know what, I always try to take a positive out of negative, is you see these screws, they're all cool like, don't get it twisted, but for the adults out there and the kids out there that have scooters, I need you to be fully aware that these lithium batteries are dangerous. Please do not leave it on charge. Please, please. I know you're going to say, but it's not going to happen to me. I thought that would ne would never happen to me. I'm that type of guy. I was that type of guy. That's never going to happen to me. Charlie can do that. It's no problem. Please. This opened my eyes to make me know that raw. And Tay got a scooter this year, and Tay will tell you now. What's the rules? I, I'm not allowed to. Um, I'm not allowed to keep it on charge when no one's in the house because it can blow up. And that's the rule. So even for the adults, just, the adults, just please just take extra precaution, extra care, because this is real life. I real recognize real. This happened. This could have set fire in my yard we're filming in right now. And this could have been a different story. I definitely wouldn't have been doing YouTube if 
Do you understand where I'm coming from? Like, if the, the I, I don't even want to put that into the atmosphere. Like, please, yeah. Don't worry, you're gonna see. It's all down here. It's been down here. It's gonna be down here. Their company name's gonna be all over this throughout the whole video. Yeah. Please share this video. This one I need you to share for two reasons. One, to out the company and two, to make people understand that lithium batteries are the most dangerous thing. Because even when they hold charge, they can cause the fire. But that had my head hot. I mean, it could have had your head hot. What? Either way. Huh? Your head could have been hot if it was inside the house. What? You would have had a hot head if you was inside the house. I don't understand. Oh, never mind. Oh, break it down. You would have had a hot head if you was in, if the school was inside the house. I don't think you really understand. <laughs> this is not a joking thing. <laughs> no, no, no. Pause a second. Let me break this down to you. Sorry. And I know because you're a child, you're a child, you're a kid, you don't you don't see. And this is what happens when you get old. Remember we were talking about being old earlier and your body and all them things there. This is another thing about being old, is when your fear factor comes in, where you get to know if it had set light in the house yeah. and we wasn't in, Buster would have burnt alive or died from smoke inhalation. Everything we owned would have been gone. Yeah. From your P5 to your Jordans would have been gone. How would they have been replaced? We'd have had to start life from scratch. Every baby photo I have of you would have been gone. Every digital backup would have been gone. That would have been the impact. Because these people want to teeth people and cut corners and put people's lives at risk for a bit of money, for a bit of cheddar. Better you just phone me and say to me, or better you just email me and beg me for money rather than put my family at risk. Like, that's the real thing. That's the jokes aside. You see me? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm back to this. We know we're trying to do this whole video shoot thing for his birthday, but I guess I better ask that question, innit? So, Big Ed, you. Yeah. What do you want for your birthday? So I thought a couple of things. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one I'm gonna start off with light is what I want to start off with light. It is a thirty-eight pounds LED light, basically. Another one of these ring light type of things that you keep breaking. Like LED, LED. Like a ring light, like you keep breaking, like no, your phone. No, 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 no. Your LED, LED lights are. The LED light. Yeah, like you know, like the ones which are like. And it like lights up your whole room with like the moon and the stars on the, on the roof. But yeah, it, it looks really cool. Alright, yeah. So that's one that's thing. Workable. And then I told mom about this. I like a. Um, this is a big one. A what? This is a big one. Go on. I would like a MacBook, please. A MacBook? Yeah. You've got two laptops already. No, yeah, but the thing is, is that. You don't need a MacBook. You know what? I would buy you a MacBook if you needed it, but you don't need it. Because you have an iMac right there, you can use it any time. You don't need a MacBook. Can't re evaluate your situation. Right, re evaluate <laughs> re oh, I just want money so I can invest it into our clothing brand. Instead of having to go to work for it. That's what I want. How much do you need for your clothing brand? It's 500 pounds. What? That's what I got told that I, that's what you need to start off with to make a clothing brand to start off with. And all the all that the two hundred pounds for like promotion. So how do we cut this five hundred pound down to two hundred pound? Oh, I don't think I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Why is your presence always expensive? Why can't you ever just why can't you ever be in a bracket that I don't have to screw up my face and get wrinkles? Remember I'm getting old already? Five hundred pound, big man. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, but it's for it's all that wasn't for, a reevaluation. It's, it's all for better needs. And I'd also just one more thing. What? I don't. I, I don't mind investing in your. But how far are you in on this project? I don't even think that you're for that far. That that it warrants me giving you five hundred pound. 
for that? How much work have you put in? Where's the designs? I actually had my designs. Hmm? Just, it's just that... I'm Where's the t-shirts you're buying them? Where are you buying your clothing from? I got Who's a, your wholesaler? I got, I, got, I got a manufacturer on Instagram, on a couple manufacturers on Instagram. I don't mind giving you some money towards your clothing label. That's not a problem. Uh, but I'm not giving you the 500 pound that they want to finesse from you. So we can, we can negotiate on what you actually need out of that 500 pound. Yes. Because when they want to talk about advertising, I don't want to hear their fagazies. Yeah. There. Or we can get you this amount of views and I don't want to hear none of that. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Ooh. What? No. What was the, what was the, ah. Oh. See, there's so much stuff, like, I don't even want a big, big things. Um, you say Christmas, you know? Huh? This is not Christmas. It's like, yeah. It's you're, and, and you're 14 this year. It's my birthday. You're 14 this year. You know what happens when you get to about 14 and cases here now? Do you know what happens? What? You get about one or two presents. That is such a lie. It's actually when... It's, you get one or two presents. It's when you get to, like, 17. You want to call a friend right now, 50-50. Call somebody and ask them if right now it's peak for you when it comes to birthdays and Christmas because Case is here. Yeah, you get one or two like, presents it's like, now. It's like 16. Huh? So 70 is the, the year where you don't get as much presents because 60 is a big birthday. You know? Who told you this? It's just like common sense. Who told you this? Because you think about it, at 16 that's when you start becoming more independent but that's your last birthday. Who put age number on it? You've been independent from, tw you've been wanting to go to Saturn on your own from 12. So you've been independent from 12, so really I shouldn't really be buying you presents from now. Sutton, Sutton, I did not go to Sutton. I'm just saying, <laughs> that's, that's when you went there. So, that was the first time you ventured out. So I'm just saying, yeah. you bought your independence. That means the presents come down, no? Do you think I'm going to buy a MacBook for you to walk up and down on the road with it? You can't even, the phone goes in your pocket and you can't even keep that from breaking. You think I'm going to make the MacBook go outside the house? Is he, is he feeling alright? Mum was thinking of a new phone. What for? Uh, the iPhone 13. Oh, oh. The iPhone what? I didn't say that. The iPhone 13. The what? The iPhone 13. How much is the iPhone 13? It's about like 600 pounds. Pardon? Yeah, but you can buy a contract with it, I guess. Do you know that if do you know that if you got yourself an iPhone 13, <laughs> yeah. you're setting yourself up? How? If you even scratched the phone, yeah, you'd be grounded. Wait, why would I be grounded for scratching my own phone? <laughs> if you got an iPhone 13, that would come with conditions. A lot of conditions. What conditions? Black your own tag type of conditions. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you're talking about. Mum would be like your probation officer and all sorts. Yeah, but you know about you know what I'm talking about tag here. Yeah? On the bus, yeah. Some some. Some girl in year 11 tried to move me and they was on tag. It's a GPS a satellite one. Also, police were everywhere of God. Um, she was smoking on the bus and she was on tag. And she tried to move to you? Yes. What, what did you say to her? I said, um, I said I'm alright. I said, I'm just going to football. I'm alright. I never spoke to her again. But yeah, what do I want for my birthday? What do I want for my birthday? I think I want a pair of Jordan sixes. You ain't getting no trade. You can get. You can ask your mum for traders. You'll never get you, you. You've had so many trainers out of me, yeah. He's had so many trainers out of me. I'm just telling you this, the wife, yeah. Mm. That he probably can't ask me for trainers until 2024. So, all right, maybe that's excessive. 2023. I don't so, believe because the amount of trainers that he's got. What? I don't believe in the cost of Jordans. I believe in the cost of Jordans, except from like the 300 pounds of stuff, that's a lot. I feel like I'm missing out, I feel like I'm missing out, I'm missing out. Can you make him understand here? Yeah? I'm missing out. Now, now Case is here, yeah. his present ratio goes down. He's not understanding, his mathematics has gone out the window, he doesn't understand the real mathematics. Oh, so I mean, I mean, that the present ratio has gone down now. That he yeah. gets a cup one, Case gets a lot. <laughs> yeah. I need some football boots. <laughs> Can you make him understand? I need some football boots. I blame your mum. <coughs> mum? I blame your mum. You know that? I blame your mum. Oh, my mum? Yeah. I thought you meant me. You know why I blame your mum? Why? Because she always comes around here and brings him sweets still. Like big bags of sweets. 
You know, she actually she, showed me like yeah. apple yeah. toffee, toffee, toffee apple and stuff. You see? Yeah, dad found it. Did you he see? Did no, it? I didn't eat it. Mm. That, I, that, that's got him, his, his mind, his mind is blocked right now. Right, cool, just one more thing for my birthday. One more thing. I would like some, um, some new tracksuits, please. Me if I'm speaking. I you think he's, he's talking to you. He's got to be talking to you. I've no. already had this conversation. Yeah, that, 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 that's I, don't, right. I don't speak Swahili, I speak English. Yeah, um, I don't have multi languages. That, that, that's already invested in my business, so it's up to mom. I'm not shaking until I need to. We just know we've got a verbal agreement right now. But I don't, don't come in my personal space right now. Why? No. That was the end of the video. It's been um, Tay and Lito. <laughs> you know he's dashing me away, yeah? Yeah, he's dashing me away. Coming up with his own channel. What's it gonna be called? I don't even know yet. I might, I'm, I just, might, just Tay. I might try to change this channel. It's gonna be name. called Just Tay. No, it's not. I might try, I might try and change this channel's name. You can't change this channel, Nate. It's two Velitos. No, 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 no. You can't change the, 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 this. You can't change this channel's Velitos, name. Velitos, and then I can be called Tay Lito underscore. No, you can't. That's so much more easy. Sorry. Why? No. Sorry. Yeah, but please. You can just be called Just Tay. Hey. Well, he's not leaving me. He's just going to do some kid shit that kids do in it, that 13 year olds do. That's what I keep. I've been telling him this from when we started. It's like, go do the Tay channel, innit? Go do your thing, innit? Go be a 13 year old over there. But you want to slap me in my neck back. What do I look like? Go slap your bridging in the neck back. Anyway, this been a informative video. It's been Leo. It's been Tay. It's been the wife. <laughs> 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 hey, make sure <laughs> you like, comment, subscribe, share. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a auntie's friend. Raw Tay Leo are doing pizza here. Log on. Cheese. Edit that bit Peace. out. What is wrong with this woman? Why does she want to talk over everything all the time?